Hey there, today we're gonna to do a beginning 10 minute workout. You need jars or cans or very light weights and a chair and you wanna be by a wall because I'm gonna be using the wall for push-ups. I put these down for now. And we're gonna do just a quick warm up. You can warm up with me, you can dance in place. I actually won't be seeing what you're doing. So I just want you to move your body. Now, if you're a mom, I bet you've been moving a lot before you got to me. If you are ready to go, you can skip ahead to probably around two minutes and start. The warm-up is just so you get your blood moving and your body is ready to do a little bit of work. Not a lot, just a little bit, but we do want to move and make it efficient and effective. That's why we're only going for 10 minutes today. Now, I'm a little old school here. Give me a little hamstring curl, like I used to do in my 8 million classes that I used to teach. It's fun, it's fun, and if you hate it, Dance, shake your butt, put your hands over your head, do something, do something crazy and silly. We've got four more. And there's three. Last two right here. One more. Okay, now a little step touch, but I want a little side squat. Like a baby side squat. What do I mean by that? I want the weight back in your heels. Little tiny movement right here. We'll get a little bit lower later on, but this is just, just warming up those quads, your hamstrings, and your glutes. Let's go two more like that. Now hang on here. I want you to come down, great big deep breath up, and bring it out. So I'm making you squat deeper. Sneaky way to get you to squat deeper when you take a great big deep breath. We're gonna do one more right here. Excellent. Ready? I gotta wait for the music. There we go. It's an old teacher habit. I have to go to the beat. I actually can't help it. And the funny thing is, before I was a teacher, I didn't hear a beat. And the moment I heard a beat, I was like, oh my gosh, mind blown. So there's a little music here in the background and I had to wait until I heard the beat. We have four more just like that, then we'll get going. A little movement is all you need before you get started. Last two right here, you should be getting a little bit warm. One more. Okay, we're gonna start with a plie, a plie. Woo. Your toes are coming out a little bit, and I want your toes up in your shoes. Hands gonna be here, hands gonna be here, hands gonna be here. We're gonna come down a little bit, and come up. we're not going very deep. We're just getting started. So toes up in your shoes, and when you come up, I want you to squeeze your butt. We're gonna come down for two, up and squeeze. Slower is so much more fun. It's not, I know it's not, it's harder, but that's okay. Worth it in the end. Now, the only thing I really want you to do fast is cardio. If you do cardio, any kind of strength training, please stay slow and controlled. Your muscles get so much more out of it. When you go quickly, you're using momentum. And for these 10 minutes, I want you to work the whole time. We have two more. And then we're gonna go into the wall. One more right here. Okay, we're beginners. If the wall is too easy, you can use a counter if you're by a counter or get on the floor, we're gonna do wall push-ups. Sorry to turn away from you. Hands wide. We're gonna come down. Please don't conk your head. We're only gonna do 50. Should be over with in no time. Now we're gonna do four more just like that. Here's three. There's two. Come on up. Back to the plie. Even slower this time. Down for three, up for one. Wait for that song, ready? Here we go. Three, two, and if you can't hear the music, it's there, I promise. There's three, two, one. My hands are here. Your hands can be here. They can be here. They can be here. Three, two, remember toes up in those shoes. We have four more like that. You got it. And if you're just standing and saying, damn Pam, please join me. I promise you'll feel better about it when you're done, I promise. One more right here, and then one more set of push-ups. Push-ups, here we go. That was a quick change, sorry. If these are too easy, please find a counter. Do it against the counter. We have four more, and that's it. There's three, two, one. Bend down and grab your cans or your weights or your jars. Please don't ever use straight legs when you bend down. You could hurt your back. I don't want you to do that. I want you to have a little bit of your knees. Jars up. Punch front. That's it. That's it. And I'm not going to go fast. 
We're slow and controlled always. When you do this, I want you to think about your shoulder. Contract when your arms are all the way out. Contract that shoulder. Excellent. Two more like this. There's two. One more on each side. Okay, let's mix it up here. Twist, bring it in. Twist, guess what that does? Gets your core in there too, it's a two for one. You get a little shoulder and a little core work. As moms, we work our core all day long. Do you ever reach in the back of your car to get something? Oh my gosh, that's using your core. We have four more just like that. There's four, there's three, there's two, there's one. You have that chair behind you, put one jar or weight down. Here's what I do. You can hold the um, chair for balance if you need to. We're gonna come down so that jar reaches your knee and come back up. If you do not need to touch it, you might fall over like that, totally fine. But ideally, I want a nice straight back, same arm as leg, and it come down your knee and come back up. We have three more on this side. Nice and slow. Remember, you can use this. I only want light fingertips on there, not white knuckles, not holding on at the bottom. And then we're gonna switch. Same arm, same leg that comes back. Okay. I think we're about halfway done. I think, I'm not quite sure. Remember, nice, keep that back nice and straight. Head, neck, spine, and a nice straight line. Two more right here. Here's two. Chairs there only if you need it. Here's one more. It's a great way to work on your balance. Pick up that jar or weight. We're gonna come back to the punch front. We lose our balance as we get older, so I always wanna keep on working it in a, in a way that will also strengthen. So what we just did, worked on your hamstring and glute connector your balance and your core. That's like a three for one. It's really hard if you've never done it before, but the more you do it, the easier you'll get. You'll also notice one side's better at balance than the other. Totally normal. We're gonna do one more on each side, then we're gonna do the cross ones. Ready, here we go. Cross, bring it in. Now when you do that, try to keep that core nice and tight. Every time you twist in everyday life, it's your core that's keeping you stable. Breathe and twist. You might want to rest these. Please don't hang out with me. We're gonna do two more on each side, right here. Here's two. One more right here. You got this. Okay, the balance ones, just five on each side. Here we go. The chair is there if you need it. Try to stay slow and controlled. Remember, no momentum. Stay with me, stay slow. Two more right here. You got it. Here's two. And if you ever wonder why some days are easier than others, our cycle has a lot to do with our balance. So sometimes your balance is crazy, play normal. Cut yourself some slack, be nice to yourself in your head. Just five right here. And breathe. A lot of times when we do something hard, we hold our breath. Mouth is open, please. Last two right here. Last one right here. Excellent, come on down. We're gonna end with one set of monster crunches. I don't love crunches on the ground. They're little tiny ranges of motion. We're gonna do a big range of motion. Arms up, I want you to breathe out and bring those opposite knees up at a time. Now, you can do this and do nothing. How's that look? Like you're doing nothing, right? Up nice and tall, breathe out. Big, big, big range of motion, there we go. Excellent. We are gonna do six, five more on each side and then we are done, our 10 minute workout is done. There's five, breathe out, you got this. Three more on each side. We're almost there. Two more on each side because you can. Make your body as big and tall as you can. Last one on each side right here. That is it. Great job today. If it was super easy, do it again or do half of it. And please go to the stretching section and do one of my stretching videos. 
Your body loves to stretch. It's like dessert for your muscles. Well done. Do this for yourself, and I'll see you back tomorrow.